that well. Well then comment on their nonverbals. I'm coming back to you. Not letting you. Come on. Marissa, what about you? Talk to them. Talk to Victoria. What what she did yeah, I like to start off with what people do well. But notice how you stopped it as the interviewer. Yeah. I did it at first, and then 
then I started thinking about it again. And where she was talking, I got to think about it more. So I could just sit here. Okay. It. <laughs> that's what, and you have to watch it. I intentionally set you up. Like uh, Isaac up there sitting in a seat that was way too low for him. I intentionally do it. Sometimes if you're short, I'll raise the seat too high for you to make you adapt to your environment. What do you do about it? Huh? Are you not allowed to move the chair? What does it look like? I just move the chair. Oh, move the chair? <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, or the consequence. The consequence is you look is that if you don't take control of your environment, it can have some very serious ramifications. I know. I've gone to many an interview where my feet can't reach the floor. And I have to figure out how am I going to construct leadership and authority like that and my feet can't reach the floor. <laughs> oh, I tell people, you're going to have to have your problems too. Okay, Candace, go. What do you think? Last question really well in a way. I'm trying to think how you did it. You didn't exactly because she asked you about how you handle stress, and you said something about subway, and then you're saying you have to serve them with a smile on your face. You just kind of let it exactly go. Well, I can handle it. Like I just put it, like I don't know what I'm. It doesn't answer it, but like I handle it really well. You answer it with an Okay, nice job. Let's get uh, Laura, H, and Ashley up there. Give them a round of applause. Folks. <laughs> Who's interviewing first? I'm going to interview her first. Okay, so you are the interviewer. 